Yo guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to the brand new video here on the channel. Today we are reviewing today's boring 90 minutes of a football game um, at the Riverside Stadium. England played Romania. The kickoff was at 5 o'clock, as you saw in my thumbnail for the preview. Um, today was an absolute shambles again. Um, as you've seen in this thumbnail, one penalty missed, one penalty scored. Um, but in the end, we have concluded our Euro preparations um, with victory over Romania in the in the final in the last international friendly of the two. And I have nothing much to say otherwise, other than boring and shit. Um, We've won six games in a row since losing to Belgium in the Nations League in November 2020. Um, but these two friendlies have been both have both been one nil victories, and it's not acceptable. Um, Southgate once again selected an exper uh, experimental starting lineup. Um, included three players, Ben Godfrey, Ben White and James Ward-Prowse, who were not named in his 26-man squad for the year of 2020. Um, there was a mixed reaction, um, however. Um, just moving on here. Mixed reaction to England's players, England's players continuing to take the knee before kick-off. Now, there was boos around the ground. Um, loud jeering being matched by applause as Southgate insisted they'll continue to take this public stand against racial injustice. That's fine. That is good. That is that is what we need. Racial abuse, homophobic abuse, every type of abuse, get it gone. Um, but booze around the ground, a little bit around the ground. Um, little side note, a streaker was on the pitch. Um, <laughs> Or at least a pitch invader. Um, took his shirt on and was just like, yeah. Um, but anyway, um, we've posed the great uh, attacking threat with both Dominic Calvert Lewin and Jane Sancho in the woodwork in the first half, but we got to take these chances more cleanly. And then Marcus Rashford obviously putting, them ahead, putting us ahead, sorry, not them, putting us ahead from the spot. In the 68th minute after Jack Grealish inev inevitably was fouled by Tibieru Kapusa. Um, it was a little bit of contact. Second one, a little bit different. It was like a little tiny, tiny little bit of contact, but that's fine. John Henderson took the second one. He missed it, but he's been back for, for this. This is his first game back, if not his second game back after he came um, after he returned from injury, um, and was on the subs bench for the game against Palace uh, for Liverpool. Uh, he was injured from February, um, but it was a perfect way to mark Rashford being given the captain's armband, ma making him the youngest black player to lead England at 23, 23 years and 218 days. That is a big milestone for him. Um, youngest black player to lead England. Little round of applause there. Um, West Brom keeper Sam Johnson won his first England cap and gave a very sound performance, the highlight of which was a magnificent reaction save from Andre Ivan. Liverpool captain obvious, El Capitan Jordan Henderson of Liverpool gave Southgate a lift when he appeared at half time for his first action since 20th of February. There you go. Um, he didn't cover himself in glory when he saw his late penalty saved. Um, Florin Nita palmed it away after Calvert-Lewin was fouled by Vlad Chiriches. Um, Grealish is our catalyst again. He continues to make an... Uh, you know, what's the word? Elo eloquent? Eloquent? Is that how you say it? But eloquent case for inclusion in England starting lineup when they launched the Euros or their Euros campaign against Croatia at Wembley in seven days. Now that is obviously a big, big 
starting point. We need to beat these Croatians right now. Croatia are playing against Belgium. Come on, you Belgians. Um, I am currently watching Germany versus Portugal under 21's European Championship final. Currently four minutes in. And um, not been a bad game so far. But um, in a patchy England display, Greenish was once again like the brightest attacking spark, apparently, creating as well as drawing fouls, cre creating as well as drawing fouls in dangerous positions throughout. It was one trademark raid into the area that he drew the foul that delivered England their match-winning penalty, giving Southgate and his players the confidence of a second successive victory in this friendly doubleheader on T side after Wednesday's win against Austria. 1-0. <laughs> Bakayo Saka didn't score a penalty though, so we're alright with that one. We'll have a series of big hitters, led by Captain ha El Capitan Harry Kane, back against a Willy Croatia side. Um, but Grealish has certainly given us Southgate plenty of food for thought in these two games. He has the X Factor. That um, can make an impact <laughs> on big games and switch the emphasis in major tournaments. Now, I kind of agree with that, but um, a question that was frequently asked this game has Henderson shown enough? Southgate um, was obviously keen to see Henderson get minutes on the pitch after being absent for so long following groin injury, especially after he withdrew from the Austria game, reporting some discomfort. No surprise to see Henderson introduced at the start of second half for Leeds United's Calvin Phillips. Um, he looked energetic, to be fair. Um, he looked energetic enough, I beg your pardon. Although the set eight pace was, of this friendly will, will be a far cry from the heat of competitive battle against Croatia when the Euros get underway. Obviously, I mentioned in my preview, Croatia, 2 o'clock, BST, all at Wembley, all times, BST. Um, these games, Croatia at 2 o'clock, Scotland at 8 o'clock, and Czech Republic at 8 o'clock. Sunday the 13th of June is Croatia, Friday the 18th of June is Scotland, and 22nd of June, Czech Republic. Um, um, but yeah, lineups, as I said in my preview, Johnston, Godfrey, White, Mings, Shaw, Wadprowse, Phillips, Sancho, Grealish, Rashford, and Calvert-Lewin. With Trippier, Pickford, Cody, Henderson, Lingard, Watkins, Bellingham, Kane, Rice, Ramsdale and Henderson all on the bench. Lingard came on for Rashford in the 75th minute with Trippier uh, coming on for Shaw. Rice in the, and Bellingham in the 65th minute coming on for Ward-Prowse and Sancho. Henderson on the in the 45th minute, so just at half-time really, um, for Nat, uh, Nat Phillips. Kev <laughs> Calvin Phillips. <laughs> And 82nd minute was Ollie Watkins for Calvert Lewin. Um, he did get injured a little bit. He did have like a little bit of a problem down there, somewhere. Can't remember where. They had so many chances, unreal. Unreal. We had the same. Um, so reading the stats in now, it's nine fouls for us, twelve for them, two corners for them, four to us. Seven shots on target and four shots on target for them. So, 7 for us, 4 for them on target. 19 shots. That's my biggest talking point. We had 19 shots. And 7 on target. We only had 1 or 2 on target in the first half. What can I say other than... We need to take them more... Like... They had 14 shots and 4 on target, so they had 10 off target, and we had 12 off target. So, both teams really need to work on their, like, chance taking, but us especially. Um, but then again, we need to take them properly. Either don't shoot, or just shoot and hit, put it on target. 55% um, of possession for us and 45% of possession for them. In the first half, they were all over us in attack. Um, they had pretty much all the ball, all the shots. Um, we had quite a few shots off the bar. Two headers from Dominic Carvalho and off the bar. 
and then um, Sancho's effort off the bar. Calvert Lewin had quite a decent amount of chances to score, missed them all. Um, but let me run through before I end this video. I'm gonna f um, go through the scores. Um, Algeria Mali. We don't care about that one, but that kicks off in half an hour ish. Uh, Belgium nil, Croatia nil, 25 minutes played and it's still live score. Um, full time though scores, Moldova 1, Azerbaijan nil. Azerbaijan Grand Prix in Formula 1 was absolutely disgraceful. <laughs> it's the weirdest Grand Prix I've ever seen. Norway 1, Greece 2, Austria nil, Slovakia nil, Luxembourg nil, Scotland 1, Netherlands 3, Georgia nil, um, Denmark 2, Bosnia Herz nil, and obviously England 1, Romania nil. Um, but yeah, John Henderson misses a penalty ten minutes after Rashford converts his. Um, but yeah, again, at the we are we are victors by one goal. On T side, T side double header, we are at the Riverside Stadium. We win one nil in both. So not the best, um, but we'll, we move on to we move we move on to. 13th of June, um, where we play Croatia in the first game of the Euros group stage. Um, but until then, guys, like, comment, subscribe, turn all notifications on. Is football coming home? Is it? Put yours in the comments. But yeah, subscribe, like, turn on notifications on all, and... I shall see you whenever next weekend. <laughs> next weekend. Um, but you can also um, watch a weekly review show tomorrow night. Um, the Eng uh, weekly England review show. I'll be on that most likely. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see. I'll, I'll I'll just see you all later. I'll just see you all later. Um, but yeah, another boring one nil. Take care, guys. Stay safe, and hopefully we can get some bigger and better victories in the Euros. You can also find me on Twitter at YouTube underscore Max Tag HD, and. That's going to be all. Full time in this review. Final one of the friendlies. Goodbye.